I could not believe what I was watching. Then I'm reading it's because maybe she missed a spot. And that's what you're going to do to somebody? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Dr. Chris Featherstone here <laughs> with another episode, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at look at him! Look at the size of them ham hocks, as Parati Park say. He is regal. He is Herculean, ladies and gentlemen. He has cannons. Oh, I blow my <laughs> He is the former WCW World Heavyweight Champion with the chainsaws. Yes. Vince Russo. Listen, I got to say, I got to get something off my chest. And I know sometimes Raju gets hot at me and I say to Raju, okay, bro, send me whatever you want me to talk about and I'll talk about it. But Raju has to understand Sometimes Vinny Rue has to get stuff off his chest. Yes, indeed, man. Bro, Preach. I want to talk about an incident on AEW last night. Okay. With a woman by the name of Athena. Yes. Who, let me make this perfectly clear, Chris. I never met Athena. I don't know Athena from Tootsmond. I'm sure she is a delightful individual. This is what really bothers me, Chris. And you're the psychologist. This is this is where I'm like, what are we doing here? I watched about a minute clip from, uh, I, I think they taped it for, they taped it for one of their shows. It's for Dark. Mm-hmm. Where dark. I, I saw Athena almost kill a green girl looking to break into the business. So then, bro, I'm reading about this. And from what I understand, it was the the girl's hometown. Mm -hmm. So she kind of froze like a deer in the headlights. So when she got out there, she may have forgotten some of her spots. Mm -hmm. Forgetting one of her spots caused Athena to literally go mental on this girl. And I swear, Chris, like, listen, man, you you and I, we're not in that ring. We're not in that moment. But for, I will never understand for the life of me because the girl missed a spot. You're going to punish her and may- maybe hurt her, yeah. paralyze her, concuss her because she missed a spot. I- I'm sorry, Chris, but like I said, I don't know Athena from a hole in the wall. But but, girlfriend, if something like that is going to trigger you to that level, you you really need to talk to somebody. Because I am sorry, Chris. I was watching that poor girl yesterday, and I I could not believe what I was watching. Then I'm reading it's because maybe she missed a spot, and that's what you're going to do to somebody? I'm sorry, Chris. The, the, these are the issues I have with wrestling today, bro. Yeah. Well, you've been in wrestling for a long time, for, near, for 30 years just about. And so... This was like, no, this was a, a, this was something that's not new, right? Because like when people would bot would botch and things like that, they would give receipts, and so like receipts has been a thing for a while. I remember when Brock Lesnar, I uh, got hit, you know, got it wasn't even malicious. He got punched, you know, by Braun Strowman, and Brock gave Braun some receipts, and so I'm I'm wondering like if this was a matter of receipts of of. Of Athena thinking that it was a botch and it was something that you know she did, and then it caused her to kind of give her some receipts. And I think she ro- she rose her hand at the end. Now, granted, I'm not endorsing what Athena did, but it seems like it came from that. But here's my thing: beyond all this, Vince, I think this is a much 
worse issue. I, th I think this is a much deeper issue, Vince, because I think what it seems as if is that Athena is just not happy in her spot in AEW. It seems like it's a much, much deeper issue than just, you know, someone blowing her spot and then he, you know, she giving her some receipts. I think it's just a matter that like, you know, she came in, she made this, you know, return. She had a, you know, a mildly warm feud with Jade Cargill. And now she's like competing on dark, you know what I mean? So, and she just came and we talked about this before on the show, uh, one of our shows, she came from being incredibly uh um, under you feel like she was very underutilized she was on the chris van vliet show as far as you know talking about you know her disdain and just her frustrations and with wwe before she left how she was promised a bunch of things and i think this is just kind of a continuation of being promised some things and being under delivered and unfortunately it seems like that local was just a product of that well, well, Chris, let, let's really clarify something. Let's clarify what a receipt is. A receipt is when somebody in the ring stiffs you. Yeah. And you stiff them back to let them know it. Correct. Like when you stiff them back, that's kind of like, bro, lighten up. Yep. And then that's usually the end of it. Yep. That's really what a receipt is here. Bro, I had Al Snow look at this clip this morning and there was this was no receipt. She missed the spot. She so we're talking about two completely different things. Now, Chris, let, let's talk about this for a second because you are the psychologist and this is why I love doing this show with you. Listen, man, if Athena is unhappy in AEW, and things were promised to her that were not delivered on. Athena, do what I did numerous times. Leave. Mm -hmm. Leave. I, I mean, Chris, I gotta, I, I got to, I gotta believe as a therapist, you deal with a lot of people that are that are very, very depressed. Mm -hmm. And I would have to guess part of your job is let's get to the root of that depression. Oh, yeah. There is something making you unhappy. And then I would guess you would tell them once you get to that root and you 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 do some soul surging and you find out what it is, change it. Yeah. Change it. Yeah. So l listen, man, I left I left wrestling three times. And bro, I didn't have another job to go to. I didn't have a cushion. Bro, there wasn't social media where I could go on Twitch or anywhere and make more money. None of that existed. But I know for me, Chris, when I get to a point in my life where I am unhappy and depressed and I, and I, 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 I recognize the root of it, I change it. Yeah. So no, no, nobody should be unhappy, especially with what they're doing for a living. So th th that's Great. the sad part about this, Chris. If, if that, in fact, is a fact, then we are talking about, you know, Athena's frustration being taken out on an innocent third party that has nothing to do with booking Athena. I agree with you 100 percent. Now, I saw the clip and I, you know, I, like I said, I, I thought about a receipt initially because I'm like, okay, well maybe, you know, there was a spot that, you know, she hit her because I don't remember. I vaguely saw the clip like once, you know, and I'm like, okay, well, maybe it is um, a receipt. But then I was thinking, you know, I saw the, you know, the conversations about it. And then I and then I remember the the, the the end of the clip where she rose her hand and then she like did that shotgun, you know, uh, uh, drop kick. And, you know, she uh, had a, the suplex, you know, position and just threw her out of the ring and just, you know, just some just some nonsense. Bro, bro the worst thing in wrestling, Chris, is when you see somebody where their bot, they're not in control of that body. Yeah. And that spot where she threw her over the top, that poor girl is like in midair. Mm -hmm. The floor is right Trying there. To break she yeah. she yeah. can't make the, yeah. that is the worst position you could ever put any wrestler in. When you don't have, when you don't have control of your body, Chris, and you're just hoping and praying that you land the right way. Right. That's not the way it's done, bro. Yeah. And the more I, you know, it, it, it I was thinking about it just a, a little bit more after 
um uh, the when i was thinking like it may be a receipt and then you know people were talking about it. i was like you know what this is to me from 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 the psychology doctor's perspective here it really seems like this is a compilation of things that she's just not happy because I, it's hard for me to believe yeah, Vince, I, I agree. that this is a standalone situation in that. her mind at least i agree i, mean, I, I don't agree. see how this is a standalone situation if she was super happy and this wasn't aw dark and she was in she was one of the you know main event talent in the women's division and she was even a champion it's hard for me to kind of wrap around the fact that she would do this you know, and if she, even if she if she did it, then that even stakes a higher case that she doesn't she does need help. You know, what I mean, because if if she's even in that position in doing this, but it, I, I really really think that it was just an outward expression in the moment that listen, I'm unhappy here. I voiced my frustration about WWE. I've been underdelivered and 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 overpromised here in AEW. This person forgot her spot, so that's just going to cause me to stab. That was the one moment that caused me to feel it. You know, Chris, I, I would tell wrestlers this all the time. Because, bro, when wrestlers get cut, when their contract expires, when they get sent home, whatever, their lives are over. Yeah. And you and I are Christian guys. And, and I always try to explain to them, Bro, it's the way you look at it. And I always try to tell them, listen, man, you were created by God, okay? It's not about what you want to do. There's a reason why he created you and he needs you in a certain spot at a certain time. If it didn't work out in wrestling, it wasn't supposed to. When you start looking at it that way, no, this isn't God's plan for me. That's why it did. It's not that you failed or you are it wasn't the plan so if, if if i'm athena and i'm going through this there's got to come a point in time where it is a coming to jesus you know talk and where, where she looks in the mirror and just asks a question am i really supposed to be doing this with, with everything that has happened and is this what I'm supposed to be doing with my life? Because that's the one thing about wrestlers, bro, that always drove me crazy. If, 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 they, if they didn't make it, they were failures. Mm -hmm. And I would be the guy, no, maybe you weren't supposed to make it. Do you yeah. not understand that? You had a dream of becoming a wrestler. That was your dream. Yeah. Bro, I've I had that conversation with so many wrestlers. Mm -hmm. and, and again, if 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 she is this unhappy and things have not gone her way in the business, there really comes a time when you got to ask yourself, is this what I'm really supposed to be doing? Yeah, and Vince, I've talked about that before as far as like someone who has in their mind that they're an artist versus someone in their mind that has that they're a wrestler. If you're like a wrestler and you were born to be a wrestler, you always want to be a wrestler. You was you were watching wrestling ever since you were two or three or four. You know what I mean? Like that big dream is going to continue to be there until you reach that big moment. And then the big moment isn't good enough because you realize that life is way beyond wrestling, right? Yes. Yes. And the thing is, yeah. if you have the moment, if you have the realization that, look, I am an artist using wrestling as a platform, people will cling to you much better yes. because they can feel the artistry instead of just, okay, let's just have another spot. You're expendable then. You're up, you're down, you're up, right. you're down. That's I mean, right. like it's, you're yep. just one wrestling match among a bunch of wrestling matches. You know what yes. I mean? Like it, yep. you don't stand out that way. Yeah, yeah.